Hello children. Today I'm going to tell you the story called The First Strawberries, a Cherokee Story, retold by Joseph Brukak. Long ago, when the earth was new, four leggeds roamed the earth. But before too long, the two leggeds came. First came Hummingbird, and then came Black Fox. And since there were two two leggeds, they weren't lonesome, and they began to do everything together. They went down to the river and they fished together. They would wash in the river together. They would swim in the river together. And they became friends. And then they built a canoe together. And they built paddles together. And they became the best of friends. And what they loved to do was get in their canoe while the moon was out and they'd go rowing down the river singing together and they'd sing my paddles keen and bright shining like silver follow the wild goose flight dip dip and sing dip dip and swing and soon they fell in love with each other and they decided to live together always. They built a round house together. And they ate together in it by the fire. They would grind corn together and sing while they were grinding the corn. Grinding corn, grinding corn, we are here grinding corn. Grains of red and yellow, blue and white corn, we are grinding. Now, one day, Black Fox said they were going to go hunting. While Black Fox was hunting, Hummingbird decided to go down to the river to get some water. But as they were walking, they saw so many flowers, red and yellow and blue and white. And they began picking the flowers and they thought about how Black Fox would love these flowers and how they were going to bring them back to the roundhouse and they would be happy with the flowers together. And Hummingbird began singing as they picked the flowers. Oh, what a They saw that Hummingbird was still collecting flowers. And Black Fox said, Ha! Huh, I am hungry. Have you not prepared our dinner? Do you expect me to eat flowers for dinner? These words made Hummingbird angry. Your words hurt me. I will no longer live with you. And Hummingbird began to walk fast and quickly towards the west, towards the sun. Black Fox tried to catch up. 
to Hummingbird, but Black Fox was much slower. No matter how, fox, how fast Black Fox went, Hummingbird went faster. And Black Fox could not catch up to Hummingbird. Well, Sun saw that Black Fox was sorry and asked, Black Fox, are you angry at Hummingbird? And Black Fox said, no, I was foolish to speak those words in anger, but I cannot catch up to Hummingbird to tell them I am sorry. Well, I will help you, says the sun. So the sun shone its rays down where Hummingbird was walking and where its rays shone, raspberries grew up. And the raspberries were ripe and ready to eat. But Hummingbird paid no attention to the raspberries and walked on. The sun tried again. And where its rays shone, blueberries grew up and they glistened in the sun. But Hummingbird was too angry to see them and walked on. The sun tried again, and where its rays shone, black berries grew up, and they were plump and juicy and ready to eat. But Hummingbird's anger, anger was too great, and they walked on faster and faster. Sun tried one last time and where its rays shone, strawberries grew up and the strawberries were lit up like fire and Hummingbird had no choice but to stop and see those bright strawberries and they began to pick one and they tasted one and it was so sweet. It was sweeter than anything Hummingbird had ever tasted. And they began to pick more because they reminded of them of the sweetness of the times that Black Elk and Hummingbird had together before they fought, before they quarreled, before they angered, were angry. How sweet their time was. And as Hummingbird was picking and eating the strawberries, here came Black Fox. I am sorry, Hummingbird, for the hard words I spoke to you. Will you forgive me? And Hummingbird answered Black Fox by giving them a strawberry. Black Fox ate it and it was sweet and they began picking more and eating more of that sweetness and they walked back with those strawberries 
and they got to their canoe and they put the strawberries in their canoe and they began to get in their canoe and row down the river and sing together. My paddles came and died, shining like silver, follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip and swing, dip, dip and swing. And every year, the Cherokee people pick strawberries and gather strawberries. And when they eat them, mm, they are reminded to be kind to one another. They are reminded that friendship and respect are as sweet as fresh, red, ripe berries. And that's the end of the story. See you next time.